Basil. And I'm Melody. And today we're taking a look at banned words. Now some of you might be like, why would you let your daughter play such a game? Because this looks like a, a bad party game for adults. Banned words. Words you should not say. But it's not. Mm -hmm. This is a silly game that's going to be very similar in, in aspects to Taboo. If you ever played the party game Taboo and Taboo, there's, you were trying to get people to guess words, and there's five words on the card you can't say. If you ever say those words, the other person <laughs> press the button. All right. 16 words. Well, in this one, yeah, this one, there's 16 words, and you pick the words. Yeah. Here's that place. Everyone is split up into a red team and a blue team. The rules, which are actually printed on two sides of this, are actually placed on the table between the players, between the teams. Each team is going to be given these boards of their color. So for the red team, we have all these boards that we have. There is some cards here, and each team is going to get a card. This is the card for the other team. So the other team is going to have, they're going to pick one person on their team to give clues and everyone's going to try to guess the five words on the card. So I'm going to try to pick words that they're not allowed to use. So here I have high school, vanilla bean, cello, diamond ring, and Montezuma. So while a timer is running, everyone is going to write down words that they think their team might say. So I might be like violin and uh, revenge and uh, teacher and student and uh, coffee, so I'm, think, I'm trying to think of words that they're gonna, that the other, the other team might use when giving out clues of these. Montezuma, I might write Aztec. Diamond Ring, I might write engagement, um, or a wedding, um, or give is a good word that someone might use for that. Vanilla bean, I might use uh, ice cream for that. Um, Actually, just single words. So I would use ice for that. Um, high school, I might use hard. And then the time might run out, okay? Oh, I didn't even get all my words filled out. Then, each team is going to pick a clue giver on that team. That clue giver is then going to look at the card. And they're going, they don't know what these words are. So they're going to start giving clues to their team. Again, using the timer. And they're trying to get their team to guess as many words as they can. Because each team, each word that they guess, they're going to get a point for. However, each time they use one of these words here, then boom, let's say they're like, oh, Montezuma. They're like, oh, there's a video game called This Revenge. I'm like, ah, I knew you would say that. So we just shout out revenge. And every time you say that word or anyone on your team says that word as they're guessing, um, is you're, that the other team is going to get a point. So you're going to actually get more points likely when the other team is giving out their clues. And so that's it. You're going to do that multiple times. And each person, is, each team gets three rounds. And whoever has the most points after three rounds is the winner of the game. Uh, I would recommend that you, that you, everyone on each team, maybe if you play with more than six players, everyone on each team is the clue giver at least once. You could play longer than that. But it's completely up to you. Uh, let me show you another example of a card just so you can see the kind of words. Magnets, zombies, unicorn, coffee shop, and trousers, or instant pudding, report card, porch swing, turkey baster, and bromance. That's how you play. The whole point of this game is picking the words. Mm -hmm. Well, there's two things, okay? Picking the words, and as you give the clues, trying, trying not to say the words or yeah, getting the people to... Way. Right, and so you don't know what they're going to say. So if the word is uh, surgeon, for example... I'm probably not going to say operate or doctor. or doctor or hospital, but you might not have said one of those words. So I'll be like a person a who uses a scalpel or a type of fish. That's a sturgeon, isn't it? Surgeon fish. I think it's yeah. sturgeon. All right, well, we're getting, but I wouldn't even say that. I'd be like, I use a scalpel to open up the insides of another human being. Right, so you're you're giving these clues, and the other team's sitting there like, "Oh, come on, say these words, say these words." So you're trying not to say those words, so then they'll double think you. They're like, "Well, he obviously won't say the the common words, so we'll use some of these odder words." I'll think, "How would I describe this?" And I'll pick some of those words, and it's really fun. And if they use the word multiple times, you get it. So, and even the guessers, 
So if the word, for example, is surgeon, um, I would probably put doctor down because someone might shout doctor, in which case you get a point. And you'll find that the, you get way more points from the guessing usually than you do, I mean, from the other team than you do for the team that's guessing. What'd you think of it? I thought it was a whole lot of fun. At first, I thought I was going to really stink at the game when it came to my turn to guessing um, or saying and clues. I was going to be like, I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this. But for me, I was like, oh, that's not too bad. Um, it was actually really fun and um, not too hard. You just write down as many words as you can because sometimes you won't even fill out all 16. I think a lot of times you won't fill out all 16. There's a lot of... Yeah, because there's only so much time and you're sitting there going, okay, 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 what words, what words, what words. But there's only two markers, so even... No, 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 you can use four markers. We just were speeding the game up by having two markers per side. You have one side fill out all their words first and then the other side. Uh, and since I'm probably going to keep this game, I'm going to put in extra markers anyway so yay. everyone can have it. I do like that the shield can go between the people and it's the rules, right? So if you're wondering what the rules are, you can see all the rules on your side and your opponents can see all the rules. And, you know, there's your typical things about in word games. My biggest problem with the game is the packaging. Yeah. This game is a really great game for a lot of people, but it looks like the kind of game that would be sold at Spencer's or something. It doesn't look like a game that like that kids can play, but kids can play it. I mean, it says ages 12 plus, but it's not a, it, it, it's a game, it's like a family game. A it just doesn't look just it. just walk away from it because it doesn't look like a... Right. When I got game. this in the mail, I was like, oh... This is not going to be a good game, you know, for that one. I almost threw it to the side, and then I was like, all right, let me see what the rules are. And it's like, oh, that's, that's really good. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a team game. Team party games work really well. And even if you're not really good at guessing or giving clues or something, you can still join your team and have a lot of fun. Yeah. And you're sitting there like a hawk watching these words. What are they going to say? The components aren't bad. The markers seem decent. The cards are good. Everything's erasable. Um, the timer. It just, the whole, the whole package, I thought, was a lot of fun. What would be your final thoughts? Um, the game was a whole lot of fun to play. And maybe, like, even if um, you're not doing a good job of playing the game, sometimes watching people, like, try to do a roundabout way of giving the clues and you know what the words are, so you're just sitting there laughing. Um, and I thought that was a whole lot of fun, and I want to play it again. Yeah, this is definitely one I'm going to keep. This is, I'm sorry, folks, this is a taboo murderer. Why would I ever play taboo again? This is more fun. You're involved all the time on both the guessing and the not guessing. Even when, the, you know, everyone is involved at each point. You're either giving clues, guessing, or watching the person who's giving clues like a hawk, hoping they say the words that you wrote down. Really entertaining game. Highly recommend it. I'm keeping it. I would rank this one an eight, actually. Same. All right, there you go. That's banned words. I'm Tom Vassell. And I'm Melody. And you've been watching Double Trouble. Boom! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.